good morning. Just had my first signal down here. We had a few Roman coins off here, but nothing really exciting. First in the uh, finds pouch is a little tiny buckle. Possibly medieval. Could be Roman. Who knows? Let's keep going. This morning I'm using a Octomacro Simplex in park mode. Uh, one sensitivity down. I think the ground bounce is at 90 still. But we're going to have a go at one of these live digs here. So there's a signal here. It's jumping around a bit. It's probably lead. But let's have a go and dig it out. Oh, I can't do this with the camera, so give me a second. Uh, guess what? It was only another button. So, we'll keep going. What a shame. It's another interesting signal. A bit iffy, but um, what seems to be possibly part of an old book. Okay, uh, clasp. And I've had quite a few of these off this field. Don't know why people seem to bring books into fields. So, uh, yeah, next hole. Now, this is an interesting signal, and I'm going to remain cautiously optimistic. But here we go. Usually when you get two beeps like that, it's uh, just on the surface. So we'll give it a little dig and see what we find. We had a couple of signals, and there was a nail and a small button-like object. It could be a Roman coin, but there's the nail. I think it's a hobnail. But let's have a look what this, uh, this one is here. I think it's a button. Uh, do you know what it is as well? It's a gold gilded button. But that is a find nonetheless. And that means we're on the right track. There's been people here, so let's keep going. Sometimes you get a big signal, you gotta dig it, because you never know. But as it happens, it was some sort of brass plate, complete with old screws. So that would say that's uh, pre-1950s, wouldn't you? Keep going. The only problem with some of these holes is you find these things. Four hole buttons everywhere on this field at least. So yeah, it gets a bit tedious, but the one that you don't dig could be the coin. We'll see. Another signal. Tiny little pewter button with the shank still on it. There we go. Yep. Another hole, another target. This time, it's another pewter button with a shank. Full focus. There we go. Yeah. There's stuff here, but no coins. What a shame. It's getting a bit warm now. Now we're getting somewhere. Pretty deep. Came in about the 20s. It's a little brass tack. Could be a furniture tack. Could be off a harness, saddle, yeah, right in the middle of the field. So, it looks like we're on the right track. Yet another pewter button with the shank. And we're heading straight up the field. Through the middle. See what else we can get before it rains. Now we're talking. How about a medieval spindle well? Could even be Roman. That was pretty deep. Well, we've been a little bit dry on signals, but I've just pulled this one out. It's a uh, service button. Could be uh, World War Two, World War One. But yeah, back on it. And not far from the other hole, found another service button. This time a full-sized one. And you can actually read the writing on the back. I think that's about the best one I've ever found. I might clean it up. Would you believe another service button? Huh. That's about the fifth one today. We're back in business with a medieval key, I think. It's tiny. Look at that. Oh yeah. 